How do you test PBA? Uh, I do not. And I know that's going to be a touchy subject for some of you out there. But again, I'm proficient in buying domains. So when I buy a domain, I've combed through it and I've picked it out, hand-picked it out for the purpose that I'm picking it out for, right? And if it's for PBNs, then I've combed the backlinks, I've combed its history, and I know what I'm using it for. And um, to say that I'm going to sit there and spend more money and more time testing it after I've built what I know, it, it's like, do you test a money site when you get it at auction um, to make sure that it's gonna be rankable in the SERPs or do you start building? Um, the PBN is sort of the same way. Like I buy it, I know what you know historic historical value it had. I know how to build it. If I've done everything that I've done right in my recipes, then the testing has come from my experience using these PBNs and uh, you know the variants and link profiles that they all exist on. Um, to test a PBN, you have to think. You have to conceptualize basically unlimited variables that you're going to prod at, uh, including like, all right, so I'm going to send my PBN link to a, a, a group of test sites that I have, and I'm going to see if they respond well. Well, okay, are these test sites basically just new PBN links, or am I testing them on sites with history? You understand that Google's and like what, what else is going on with yeah, the site, Google's right? Yeah, algorithmic language is what's going on extremely with its complex, right? It's not just taking into account, oh, <laughs> this is a PBN here. No, it's the network. It's everything coming into, you know, a big picture, like sort of a like a universe kind of uh, situation. Um, and so, you know... If you're going to want to, quote, test the PBN to see if it pushes something up, um, I guess if that gives you, like, clear conscience, I know a lot of people talk about doing it. I know it's been a huge, in my opinion, marketing thing um, historically. But, you know, I've been using and building PBNs for years now. Um, the testing that I did was based... Yeah, the, the testing is learned... It yeah, exactly. The testing is like you're from point A to point B where you are now, like all those years of like figuring out, you know, and footprints or just how, yeah. how to do everything safely, domain hunting. That That's the testing. <laughs> In the years of doing that, you know, that's where you realize that the concept of um, testing a PBN is quite frankly bullshit. Um, and I say that, you know, openly because, uh, you know, you can even have the same PBN link to five different sites and you'll realize some sites get favored more and some act some kind of act wonky. Differently. Um, but that's based not only on the PBN, but the websites that it's hitting, um, you know, and all the variables in between um, the interaction between those websites. So yeah, the, the um, competitors, like what, you know, to, to think about testing PBNs, you know, it's like it's its own, it, its own like paradigm where you're kind of just in my opinion, wasting time if you understand how websites work and what the value of a backlink is. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.